All right, here's some sad news, and here's a sort of a uh, Jama ordinary Jamaican civilian who tried to do the right thing and cost him his life. So, peacemaker killed Trent stop by a St. Andrew's mother is at her wit's end trying to accept that her uses her son, Andre Douglas, 29, is now dead after he was stabbed twice on this Saturday while trying to start a fight to football where it was in St. Andrew. All right, uh, and Ma, she goes on to quote and just uh, say that her son was salt to the earth and that he was that he really that he was really trying to do the right thing. And what she makes it sad that this kid, Andre Douglas, has a child. I think, from what I understand, I understand. So what makes it even worse that his child, I think, he has a son, is going to be fatherless growing up. All right, and. I know what you said about the incident, it just gives quotes, uh, 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 quotes about, about how which a good person he was, but yeah, it doesn't say what exactly happened, because they're not really giving in details, but if he was trying to do the right thing by trying to stop a fight, that's fucked up. No, I don't know if he knew the attackers, the people who were in, a, in the dispute or, or not. Again, they didn't say it in this article, but I just want to say is this. I hate this guy sounded like he had that warrior spirit, that he was generally a, a good, a caring civilian. Again, I don't know him personally, so I'm not going to, I'm just going by what I'm reading. And he, from what I understand, was not like one of those, the run of cowards that we have running amongst Jamaica, in Jamaica's populace. Because let's just be honest, most people, if they see some people about to kill each other, they just go say, hey, that's none of my business, I'm just going to move away and let the, let the bull blood spill. But this guy says, hey, you know what, I'm trying to do the right thing. I don't know the full circumstances. It caused me life. Now, I'm just going to wonder, and again, I'm not trying to be petty or go off track, but is Andre Douglas going to be more than a one-week day student story? Because I don't see... A lot of people protested and saying, oh, we lost a good person or whatever. Or that we are going to make a hashtag for Andre Douglas as being a good, upstanding civilian. Because, let's be, as I said, Jamaican, a lot of these cases, just like that this teenager who basically sacrifices life to stop his mom from being robbed. Or even that one uh, guy who tried to stop this woman who was getting robbed and got shot. Most people are just going to look at these people and say, boy, they're my fool, they're my idiot. I will never do such a thing because I have no backbone or that, and, and I don't give a shit what happens to the next person. This guy is likely, unfortunately, going to get that same treatment for the society because we're well, still worried about Donna Lee Dawson. And we should, I'm not really going to diminish her, what, this, um, what happened to her as this is ongoing, but... I'm really doubting that this guy is going to take any protests, anyone's going to make a hashtag of him, or people are just going to do it, going to just say, hey, this guy deserves consideration, and we're going to hunt down those people, who, the person who stabbed him, and yet we're going to, the wrath of God is going to be in that person. I don't see a lot of person, maybe inside the circle, who's going to actually go out and get justice. And let's just be honest, I'm wondering if celebrities or anybody is going to hatch, be trying to talk about this guy. I doubt that, but I make a recording just in case I'm right that this guy, from what I'm reading, no, it could be a case where there's more about him that may not paint him a pleasant light that might come out. If that's the case, yeah, I will, I will acknowledge that and report on that. But if this guy is apparently a good salt to the earth person that lost his life prematurely. This guy needs to get his own recording because I've seen too much bullshit where ordinary Jamaican civilians where genuine good people are ignored, marginalized, and don't get the same consideration because too many Jamaicans are in that bullshit where we selectively care about who we want to glorify, elevate, or pretend that we care about. And I will not be one of those people. So, RIP to this young brother. All right, uh, this and the praise to his child, his, his son, I believe, and because uh, going to be, and that kid is going to grow up with a father thanks to whoever did this. And praise his condolences to his family. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Goodson Farron, Miles Productions, your thoughts and Miles. All right.